Okay, this has been a very long journey. My depiction of the Lawgiver 2 standard sidearm of a street judge in the Judge Dread universe. I did a prototype about a year ago just to make sure everything worked properly and I used a Maverick as a platform. And um, that prototype worked fairly well. I really was happy with it, but I wasn't happy with the look of it. So I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and try to create another um, look, which is closer to the Stallone 1995 Judge Dredd version of the sidearm. So without further ado, the Law Giver 2. Now... There are so many things that I had to or want to discuss when it comes down to this piece. One, how long it took. It took me very long to do this because I had a couple of hiccups. For one, I used wood for a good 30% of the gun. So this piece and on the other side, obviously, this piece, this piece, and um, this piece are all wood. I felt that would be easier to use because I had a bunch of wood laying around and I decided to use that. The problem with wood is if you don't treat it, it will expand once it gets wet. And my dumb ass went and wet sanded the gun at the very last point and then noticed it starting to warp and expanding. And by that time, it was way too late. So I had to redo it all over. As a matter of fact, if you look at this part here, this is supposed to be much wider. This should not be as wide and this part shouldn't be hanging over let me just show you what i mean on the other side because the other side didn't have that problem see how narrow that is you see how wide this part is it's so much and it doesn't hang over the side of the 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 uh, trigger unfortunately that's what i had to do with and i wasn't about to go back and recut another one and stuff i wasn't going to do that so i just dealt with it plus this part here if you can see, it's not a perfect triangle. The reason why is because this expanded as well, and I had to sand down the bottom half of that, okay? Okay, so that was one of my biggest problems. I didn't have an issue with these two because I think this was more thicker wood, so I didn't have as much warping with this, even though I had a little bit here, which was easily to, to deal with. Um, oh, and this part here is made out of wood as well, so, you know, it, it's what it was, okay? And the reason why I said I use wood again is because those are the pieces that I had around, okay? So, give you a look at the top of it. And um, this is not screwed in all the way, so that's why you're seeing that the, the color um, change or whatever. But if I if I just squeeze it, it goes away. Because I, I just need to screw it in with a longer screw. But I don't feel like taking it apart to do that, so it is what it is. I'll probably have that done before... Uh, this Halloween because I plan on going as a judge a senior judge to Massachusetts to Salem Massachusetts this year so I'm so excited it's one is a guy there that goes every year I hope I run into him but anyway let's start talking about the handle because I think this was the most difficult part of the entire gun as you can see the Maverick handle is kind of weird it's got this big old ass behind it and it's you know shape weird here and it's also the same way inside when you turn open this up and look it's pretty much look the same so what i had to do is what i had to cut this part off extend the top part and pretty much cut these parts to extend this with bondo now it took a lot of work to get them lined up correctly because i wanted to minimize the seams and all that kind of stuff and i also wanted to be able to fit a battery in there and I'm going to put all the inf all the uh, electronics and hardware that I had put in this gun. I'm going to put all that in the description for you. I'm not going to put anything about the sound effects because these are my own personal sound effects. I went and paid somebody off of a freelance, um, freelance uh, website to give me the sound effects. And my voice is the sound effects of the actual gun. If you want to see all that, you can go to the video that I did a year ago. It's the same exact look. I mean, not look, uh, it's the same exact electronics and everything like that. So there's no difference in that. It's the same um, five settings, which I did delete the, the uh, signal flare because I also thought, I thought that was absolutely ridiculous and just a waste of a possible really good 
you know, weapon, a flare. Like, what the hell you need it with the damn flare? And you're in a freaking gunfight. Anyway, so the handle was the most difficult part, okay? But you could do a lot of stuff with Bondo and sanding. And yes, it took a lot of freaking Bondo to get this right, all right? As far as this part of the handle, this is just EVA foam. Right? I just took EVA foam, cut it out, sanded it to where I wanted it to be, and just, you know, glued it up there with uh, contact cement. Uh, these are, is four parts because I want to be able to open this gun. If you can look, you can see there's seams here and, um, you know, stuff like that. There's also a seam in the back where I also have the uh, charging port where I can charge the pistol. Um this has got to be done. I'm I'm thinking of painting this because this is done with brushed on paint, and it's pretty decent. But it's just it, it's I'm not happy with it, so I might repaint that. But anyway, this is just EVA foam uh, about well craft foam I should say, and it's one millimeter thick. Uh, this is just one piece, and on the other side is one piece. I just scored this to get this effect. So that's all I did was just score it with a knife, hit it with a heat gun, boom, you're done. Okay. This part, I use this as a base, this heart, and I basically just use Bondo, you know. Uh, I got this technique from another YouTuber. I'm going to put a link in his video in the description for this technique that he was showing me because he was doing a uh, Halo armor piece, and he used playing cards with this... You know, almost like a whatever it is, a laminating um, film on top of the card to use as a guide to do his rondos. Now, I didn't use rondo on this gun. I used only bondo. But the the, the technique is still sound. It still works. You can put the perling card here, put a hot, hot glue it to a, it's in place so it won't move. Don't use a lot because you'll catch hell trying to remove it unless you got... A ton of alcohol. Um, put the bondo in there. Wait for it to set. Once it's set, you just peel this away, and that's how you get those buttery seams. Because it would have been almost impossible for me to get this set this way without those guidelines. So that's how I got that done. Okay. Um, again, I'm gonna put all the information, the the electronics in the description. But really quick, I'm using a Arduino board mini with a mini or micro, with the smallest one. Uh, maybe I have one just laying around that I can show you. Uh, it's not coming out quick enough. All right, well, I have a mini in there. And um, basically all you really have to do is just program it, which I purchased, I hired somebody to, um, to do the coding of the Arduino because I'm not a coder. But I had that person code the thing for me and uh, have the fine functionalities and it's also a recognition a voice recognition module in there so it can actually hear my voice and um you know and the functions go based off of what i say which is how i wanted the gun because that's exactly how both the car irving and the stallone version and even the actual judge dreads comic book version of the gun is these are pretty much just pcv vibe or PVC pipe. That's all that is. Just cut to that um, dimensions. I might do this one over because I mucked that one up. And um, that's basically it. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else I want to tell you about this the pistol. I mean, it still works. There's an uh, on and off button right there. Power's on. Again, all my own sound effects. Because I did not like the idea of the uh the flare and i didn't end up the sound quality it was trying to i was trying my best to get the ones off of stallone but the sound quality just sucks so i said to hell with it and i hate the flare oh before i even go one more thing if you notice there is no green and red button here the reason why is because there's so much going on inside this weapon i just couldn't have an i didn't have room to make these i really wanted them because that will set the, the the gun off but it was just too much I, I would much rather have a functional trigger an on off switch and a reload button on the other side acting as you know the um, mag release 
than these two lights because all they really do is just light up and go red and green or whatever it's not necessary um and the emblem here i don't have i have a very steady hand right but even I can't get straight lines when it comes down to that. And every time I tried to do it, it just it just didn't look right. So I said, to hell with it. I'm just going to delete that and keep it moving. It's not really that important anyway. So there you have it, the Lawgiver 2. Hopefully you enjoy this. Please write, please like, rate, and comment. Show your love. And uh, you guys have a good one. Oh, and hopefully if... You guys ever can. Maybe you can see me in Cell, Massachusetts. I'm not going to be depicting Judge Dredd, but I'm definitely going to be a street judge, a senior street judge, and more than likely, I'm going to embody the part. Have a good one.